Hello, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to configure Flex VPN using Ike version 2 and using dynamic virtual tunnel, tunnel interfaces. Um, this is going to be our topology, R1 is going to be our hub, R2, R3 and R4 are going to be the spokes, and uh, these LANs are going to be able to communicate with each other all through R1, since this is a hub and spoke topology. Okay. So um, I'll do all the configurations and then, you know, obviously we'll test it as well. So um, there is a little bit more config to do compared to Ike version, to Ike version 1, um, as I will demonstrate now. So crypto, so first of all, I'm going to create the key ring. Well, I'm going to be using uh, pre-shared keys for this because it's just, it's just easier. Um, Okay, so we need to say who our peers are. Now these are just descriptions. Uh, I, I just say R2. Uh, the address of R2 is 25.0.0.2. We need to set the identity. So we're going to be using fully qualified domain names um, uh, for this. And pre-shared local is going to be Cisco 123 and pre-shared remote is going to be Cisco 321. Peer R4, R3. The address is that. The identity of the fully qualified domain name is going to be that. And the pre-shared key local is going to be that and the remote is going to be that. Up here are four. The address is going to be 45.0.0.2. The identity is going to be r4.gaz.net. Uh, fully qualified domain name is r4.gaz.net. Uh, Pre-shared local is Cisco123, remote is Cisco321. Okay, so next is crypto. Now we need to do the proposal. I'm going to call this Ike version 2-proposal. So the encryption is going to be AES256 and the data integrity is going to be SHA512. Diffie-Hellman group is going to be 15. Now we need to do the Ike policy, crypto Ike policy. Yes, policy, Ike version 2 policy, which will refer to the proposal we have just created. And now we need to do the profile, which I would call Ike version 2 dash profile. Now we just need to tie all this together. Local pre shared. Remote is going to be pre shared. The identity locally of the fully qualified domain name is going to be r1.gaz.net. The keyring is the local profile of PSK. The match identity of the remote fully qualified domain names is going to be r2.gaz.net, r2, r3, and r4. And the virtual template we're going to use is going to be number one. Okay, so now we need to do the IP set profiles as we usually do. We'll start with the transform set, trans T form. It's going to be AES that ESP SHA 512. It's already in tunnel mode. Now we need to do the profile. IPsec dash profile and 
do we need to do here? We need to tie it all together. So we're tying everything together into the IPsec profile. Next, we need to put this on the tunnel interface or the virtual, um, the virtual, virtual template type oh, one type tunnel. We're going to be borrowing the IP address from loopback zero. Tunnel source is going to be that. Tunnel mode is IPsec on IP version 4. Tunnel protection is going to be the IPsec profile, IPsec profile. You shall run INT that. Uh, I think that is okay. Now we'll do this because it's good practice. And then we need to set up the root in. Okay, so that's R1 configured. Next we'll hop over to R2. I'll do the config once here, then I'll paste it into a notepad and then um, I'll just paste it all in and just change what is needed. So for example, We'll take that and we'll take that. So this will be R1. The address is 15. This is going to be R1. Proposal policy, and I need the profile. Where's the profile? So, a lot of this isn't needed, so that we can get rid of. That will be that. Get rid of all that. That will be that. Okay. And now we need to take this here so yeah I should be able to paste all this in so that's the other side ah so this one you need to be changed Three. Uh, I th think that is supposed to be me. Yeah, free and free. Let's change it here. Do show run section crypto. I 
I'm just I'm going to set up the routing first, so we should be able to see them just uh, the tunnels come up. Okay, so let's do the tunnel interfaces. Source is that. Tunnel destination is that. Tunnel mode. Uh, protect, protect, pro tunnel protection is the IPsec profile of IPsec uh, profile. And um, tunnel mode is IPsec IPv4. Okay, so the tunnels come up. Yeah, we have our virtual access interface here. Okay, so do show IP EIGRP neighbors. Yeah, do show IP root EIGRP. And we're linking the two network from R2. I'm going to take this and I'm just going to paste it in since it's exactly the same config. Neighbor adjacency is up. Neighbor adjacency is up. So we got three neighbors as expected. Show IP root EIGRP. So we're learning those four networks, which is good. Uh, ping 10.2.2.1 source LAN interface yeah yep okay so on our f I don't know let's pick R3 I should be able to ping R2 and R4 Okay. So and then R four. Okay, so all that is working. We now have full connectivity. Let's just run some commands, some verification commands. So those are our our phase. Well, they're not called phase one tunnels. I think they they're just called IP version two tunnels. <laughs> I'm not really too sure what the replacement is, but yeah, that's how you do it. And then the, I think this is called the child essay. And there we have it. We have roughly the same amount of packets being encrypted and decrypted. Um, show crypto engine engine and engine active yep so these are our, our active um, tunnels uh, what I was going to show you crypto like version 2 sessions so look at stats and um, yeah, 
we have full network connectivity and that will be it for today thank you very much